are you ready to go trick-or-treating? I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, I love your SpongeBob costume. Baby, who are you supposed to be? I'm Sandy. What? You don't look like a squirrel. You're an astronaut. Well, she wears an astronaut outfit. No one's going to understand who you are unless you're a squirrel. Marvin, people are going to know who I am, especially when I talk like this. Howdy, y'all. Hey, Danny. I'm ready to go get some cookies. Well, Jeffy, you can't be Cookie Monster. You're supposed to be Patrick. I don't want to be Patrick. It makes me look like I have a big penis on my head. We're all supposed to be SpongeBob characters. Well, then who's mommy supposed to be? I'm Sandy. Howdy, y'all. You look like an astronaut. I told you. You know what? I'm not going trick-or-treating. Me either. Well, then who's gonna take me? Marvin, take Jeffy trick-or-treating. I don't want to go because our costumes don't make sense. Cookie Monster and Spongebob never hang out. Daddy, they hang out all the time. Cookie Monster and Spongebob smoked out loud outside the Krusty Krab. No, they don't. Yes, they do. <sighs> okay, let's hurry up and go trick-or-treating and then we'll come back. Good. So, guys, are you ready to go trick-or-treating? Yeah, me and Ken are. Oh, wow, you're Mr. Incredible? Yeah, you know what's crazy? These muscles aren't even fake. I'm just that swole. And look at Ken. He's Mrs. Incredible. He's got that gap. What's Gyat? You know, like, Gyat, damn, look how thick that ass is. Oh. Wait, where's Joseph? Oh, he's the back part of my camel costume. Ugh, dude, why do I have to be in the back? Because you have two costumes. You're the back part of the camel and you're Rosa Parks. God, this sucks. I don't want to be in the back. Oh, oh no. I shouldn't have had a toast strudel for breakfast. <laughs> oh, dude, it smells like your butt. God, I'm going home. What? Oh, Joseph, come back. Now I have no back part of my camel costume. I mean, damn, Junior. I'll get in your costume if it means I get to have my face in your ass all day. Wait, really? Yeah. There's someone at the door. Wait, so am I, am I in the camel or not? Hello? Hey, Junior. Oh, hey, Penelope. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, Timmy. <laughs> Why'd you throw Ken? Shut up. Hey, Timmy, I didn't think you could go trick-or-treating. Oh, well, my parents don't believe in Halloween because they think it's like worshipping the devil or something. So I totally snuck out. And look at my costume. It's Pac-Man because I like to eat balls. <laughs> that's not what Pac-Man sounds like. Oh, that's exactly what he sounds like. Oh, you mean Pac-Man. No, no, not really. Wait, Penelope, what are you supposed to be? I'm Leo. Lilo and Stitch. You can't be Lilo and Stitch. Okay, well, I'm Lilo with Stitch. Well, Lilo has black hair, not orange hair. It's just a costume, Junior. And Lilo doesn't have glasses either. Shut up, Junior. Well, neither does Mr. Incredible. What? Mr. Incredible doesn't have glasses either. It, yeah, he does. When he's teaching his kids, like, homework, he well, puts the glasses on. Not when he's Mr. Incredible. Look, Cody, I like your costume. Oh, thank you. Well, in that case, yeah, Penelope, your costume sucks. Uh, well, what are you supposed to be, Junior? I'm half a camel because Joseph stopped being the back half. Ew, I'll be your back half. No, Timmy, I already called dibs. Look, guys, no one's going to be my back half. Let's just go trick-or-treating. Okay, I'll get the grocery bags. Help, help, Mr. Spider-Man, help! What do you need, ma'am? Oh, Spider-Man, can you please take this bowl out for the trick-or-treaters for me? Whoa, 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 Kent, what the hell do you think you're doing? These are my cookies and cream, Hershey's. Nobody gives away my cookies and cream. Boiny, it's for the kids. Well, okay, that's fair, but can we at least take the cookies and cream out? No, Boiny, you don't need to eat that candy. You're pre-diabetic. Yeah, pre. I'm not there yet. Give me a chance. Boiny, take the bowl of candy out by the front door. Okay, but why do they have to be full-size candy bars? How much money do you think I make? Boiny, it's once a year. You can share. Well, I don't need to share. I already pay my taxes. I share enough. Boiny, take the bowl out now. Oh, fine. Ugh, stupid trick-or-treaters. Stupid Halloween. Okay, you know what? I'm taking the cookies and cream. These are mine. Boiny, put them back! <sighs> Bitch. Okay, fine, but I'm putting up a sign that says only take one because these are full size and Spider-Man doesn't get paid for saving the city. <sighs> okay, that works. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to sit right here and watch to make sure everybody only gets one piece of candy. Boiny, at that point, just hand out the candy to the kids! Hell no, I'm not going to personally hand out my cookies and cream to all these kids. Like, congratulations, here you go, you unemployed child. Why do kids get the candy? They don't have jobs. They didn't earn it. Boiny, hush. I'm just going to sit here and watch. Okay, guys, this house says please take one. So make sure to only grab one. I can only eat one if I want to keep my hunky figure. Wait, Penelope, isn't this your house? Yeah. Can I get two since I'm your boyfriend? No, Junior, they're full-size candy bars. Wait, is that your dad watching us in the window? Yeah. Okay, guys, no one take the cookies and cream. It's his favorite. Or the Reese's. Or the Reese's. Okay, um, Cody, can you surprise me? Put one in my bag. Surprise you with a wiener in your butt. What? Nothing. Here's a Twix. All right. Thank you, Penelope. Boyney, did I just hear you tell those kids not to take your Reese's? No, no, I, I said, uh, don't be racist, because I'm giving them candy and advice. Aw, Boyney, you're such a good Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man hates racism. And people taking his candy. All right, Jeffy, this house says, please take one, so pick your favorite. Please take one bowl. What? 
No, Jeffy, don't take the whole bowl. Yes, Jeffy, take the whole bowl. What the, no, no, Jeffy, what if they have a camera or something? Hey, asshole, didn't you see the sign? It says take one. Wrong, not a wrong! Hey, hey, ah. hey, get back here, you fuckers! Karen! Karen! What, Boiny? That kid was only supposed to take one, and he took most of the bowl. Boiny, you did this last year. You got all crazy about your Reese's Pieces. But look, Karen, he only left me one Reese's and one Cookies and Cream left. Boiny, that's all you need. No, it's not. I'm gonna find him, and I'm gonna put him in jail. Boiny, you're getting cranky. Of course I'm cranky. Somebody stole my candy, and you're also dressed like a mermaid like last year. Be more creative, Karen. <laughs> wow, are you guys done trick-or-treating already? No, we saw the hashling and slasher. No, we went to one house, and the sign said, take one piece of candy, and Jeffy took the whole bowl. Jeffy, you can't do that. Well, I did, so suck my ass. Marvin, how could you let him do that? I told him no, and he did it anyway. Daddy, when are you going to learn? I'm going to do what I want, because I don't give a shit. <sighs> That must be trick-or-treaters. Marvin, take some of Jeffy's candy and give it away. That's a good idea. If you touch my candy, I will kill you in your sleep. Jeffy, we have to give away some of this candy. You're not going to eat all of it. <sighs> Fine. I guess you can give away this one piece. A Hershey's kiss that just fell on the floor? Yep. <sighs> Hello? Sponge Boy Me Bob, it's me, Mr. Krabs, and I like money. So I sure hope you're handing out house payments for Halloween this year. Uh, no, Mr. Krabs, I thought my pineapple was paid off. You're about to be living in a fucking pineapple if you don't give me your goddamn house payment. Oh, listen, I'll work more shifts at the Krusty Krab. Yeah, that, or else I'm gonna dump an entire chum bucket on your wife without the H. Uh, look, I, I have a Hershey kiss for you. There you go, Mr. Krabs. Kiss the back of my ball sack, Marvin. And it's dirty. It's like a mud flap for my asshole. Okay. All right, so you better have your house painted by tomorrow or else I'm going to come back as Squidward. Okay. This is the worst Halloween ever. Who's that? Hello? Give me my goddamn candy. All right, listen, little boy. You can ask for candy nicely. Give me my fucking candy, you goon. Where is your parents, young man? I don't have parents. You're an angry orphan. You stole my candy. No, my son stole candy from a guy with an orange mustache. Oh, really? Did he look like me? Ah! Yeah, get out of my way. I need to see your son. My candy. No, it's my candy. You stole it from me. But he's the cookie monster, and this is cookies and cream. Cookies make me cream. Yeah, me too. But you stole mine, so now I can't cream. Look, Jeffy, just give him his candy back. Oh, no, I don't just want the candy back. I want revenge. So you're under arrest for theft. Wait, can you do that? Of course I can do that. I'm a cop, and I'm also Spider-Man. I can super do that. Come on, let's go to the courthouse. Hey! But it's just candy. <laughs> Uh, sir, we don't know what you just said, and I'm not even sure what your costume was supposed to be. What is it, like an alien? You, you didn't read the subtitles? I, I'm, I'm from Mars Attacks, the, the movie from the 90s. You know, Tim Burton? No? Okay, fuck it. Fuck it. Ugh, hot in there anyway. Anyway, today we'll be hearing the case of Brooklyn T. Guy versus Jeffy. Jeffy, you are being accused of stealing candy on Halloween. Mr. Guy, please explain. Well, Your Honor, I had a big old bowl of candy outside my house, and I had this sign that said, please take one, one, and that little shit took the whole damn bowl, including my cookies and cream Hershey's. So I want him to go to jail for the rest of his life. <sighs> oh, man, do I just not fucking care. It's Halloween. People are supposed to take candy. If you wanted them to only take one piece of candy, you should have handed them one piece of candy instead of just leaving a bowl out like a lazy shit. Oh, God, I'm so pissed. How do you not know what movie this is from? Jesus, I spent $50 on this mask. Okay, you know what? I'm pissed. So how about this? How about, for the rest of the night, all crime is legal, including murder, until midnight. Literally, anything goes. Do whatever you want. I don't care. You know what? I'm actually gonna go out and kill people too. I'm gonna kill anybody who doesn't know what this is from. So I'll give you a five minute head start. What? All crime is legal, including murder. Oh, I'm gonna kill him for taking my cookies and cream Hershey's. Breaking news, okay? A judge has just ordered that there are no laws until midnight. All crime, including murder, is legal. Marvin, all crimes are legal, even murder? There's some people I wish I could murder. Well, you better change your costume to protect your anonymity. That's where Finding Nemo lived. What? Yeah, he and his dad lived in the anonymous and it shocked them. 
Dougie, what are you doing here? Well, I came to ask for some money, but then I heard that all crime is legal. So now I'm just gonna steal it. Weren't you gonna steal it anyway? Yeah. Go out, go, just go. All right. Jeffy, get in here. Sorry, Daddy, my cookie cutter was clogged. I was constipated. Listen, Jeffy, all crime is legal until midnight. Oh, well, in that case, I pooped in the sink. Am I still in trouble? Yes, Jeffy, you're grounded. But I thought all crime was legal. That's not a crime. It's just bad. So listen, we're going to stay inside the house so none of us die. Can you please go lock all the doors? Okay. All right, I hired all of you to break into this house and kill a kid that looks like Cookie Monster because he stole my candy, okay? So you're going to go in there, you're going to kill him, and you're going to get the candy, but you're not going to eat the candy, got it? All right, now we're going to go over code names. You, your name is Birdman. Ah, ah. Yeah, exactly, and your name's going to be, uh... My name is Kyle. Okay, well, Kyle's not a scary name, Kyle. Well, my, my middle name is Brad. Oh, Brad's not scary either. No, your name's going to be, uh, Gas Mask, or Gassy. I like Gassy. And your name is going to be, uh, Pumpkinhead... That's fucking gay. Okay, well, fine. I did like uh, the, the Great Pumpkin or uh, d d Jack. Yeah, for Jack a Lantern. That works. Okay, all right. You guys ready to do this? Come on. All right, is everybody ready? <laughs> okay, on the count of three, we bust in and kill him. One, two, three. Oh, oh shit. The, the door is locked. The door is locked, everybody. Sorry, I, I didn't think this through. Does anybody know how we can get in there? Kyle's got a hammer. I'm not Kyle. I'm Gassy. Take a tub! But no, Pumpkinhead, his name is Gassy. My name's not fucking Pumpkinhead! It's Jack! Ah, 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 ah. Okay, 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 I think, I think, I think Birdman's right. Everybody needs to shut the fuck up. Now, how the hell are we gonna get into this building? I got a hammer. That's what I said! Okay, thank you. Use the hammer on the door. Can do. <laughs> Okay, it looks like it's just us. Let's go kill Cookie Monster! Marvin, it sounds like someone broke in the house. No one can break in the house. The door's locked. Unless they used a big, goofy hammer. Marvin, it sounds like someone broke in the house. Okay, then let's go hide in the playroom closet. No, Danny, they'll be expecting that. You two stay here. I got a plan. Okay, you two go upstairs. Check the playroom closet. They always run in there when they're scared. Birdman, you don't have to keep cocking that. Ah! I mean, I agree. It does sound cool. Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, yeah, that door right there. Okay, now shoot it open. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, no, 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 that's bad, that's bad. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I thought he knew what he was doing. Why would you stand behind him with a machete like that? You know that shotgun has crazy recoil. Oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? Okay, okay, look, you can't blame yourself for this, okay? That was a crazy accident. Hey, hey, look, it's the purge, so you won't even get in trouble, okay? You're right. Okay, uh, let's go get him. Yes, sir. Okay, they should be hiding in there. Now open the door. Gotcha! What? Wait, there's so much shit in there, they couldn't possibly be hiding in there. Where are they? Ah! No, get it off! Get it off! You bastard! You killed my last goon! Ah! Marvin, it sounds like Jeffy killed them! Ah, Daddy, help me! I'm gonna get you! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah, I'm scary! <laughs> Who are you? Oh, you can't tell because of the mask. Hold on. It's me! Ah! Yeah, I was... Ah! Yeah, I was gonna kill ah! If you keep screaming, I'm gonna kill you too. Okay. See, I was mad because he stole my candy. So get out of my way so I could, y you know, kill him. Wait, it's after midnight. What's it? It's 12.03. Oh, rats. Kid, you are so lucky. If it was before midnight, I'd be cutting you into little bits right now. All right, looks like you win this time. Oh, wow, we're safe. Here, Jeffy, take that. Wait a minute, it's not July 29th. I googled a picture of midnight on iPhone home screen. Oh yeah, I can tell, because that screenshot's old as hell. iPhones don't even have that anymore. What time is it really? It's 11.59. 11.59? I only have one minute to kill you? Ugh. I mean, I could do it, but I'd have to rush it, and it wouldn't even be fun. And I'd have to fight you for the axe, and that would take forever, and I'd probably cut my fingers. It's, just, it's not even worth it. I hope this doesn't make things awkward with us from now on. A actually, you know what? Uh, it it's not really me, Brooklyn guy. It's, um... Get, gets mad over stolen candy guy. Yeah, it's a, I'm a different person. So next time you see me, it'll be Brooklyn guy, not not me. Y yeah, I'm different. I, I haven't used that line in a while. Okay, y yeah. Bam! Who wants to hear some Jeffy tunes? I've been in the beat laboratory cooking up some nasty beats. Now, who wants to hear it? No, Jeffy, we're really tired. Please just go to bed. Well, let me just hit this button 11 times. No, Jeffy, just go to bed.
No, I don't have to. No, I don't have to. I don't have to go to bed right now. I want to stay up all night and play some Fortnite. I never want to go to sleep again. Go to bed. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to ever, ever sleep again. For I'm going to eat lasagna and maybe a banana singing Jeffy Wiffy Doodle all the day. Hell yeah. Thank you, Connecticut. I'll be here all week, fuckers. Ah, now we totally righteous, righteous totally, dude. Oh, Jeffy, please go to bed. All right, how about three more songs? No. All right, how about four? <laughs> Marvin, we're gonna need this monster to stay up with Jeffy all night. Yeah, just go ahead and open it. What's a monster? I want a sip. Uh, no, no, Jeffy, no. It's a very dangerous, scary drink. So when you drink it, it turns you into a monster. So you, you don't want to drink that. Well, you guys were going to drink it. Well, no, 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 we weren't. No, we weren't. Uh, Rose found it, and it's very dangerous. So we were gonna go pour it out so no one could drink it. Well, I'll pour it out for you. No, only adults should pour it out. So I want to pour it out. Oh, I got my way. Oh, I got my way. Jeffy, are you really gonna pour it out? Yep. Marvin, if he drinks that, we're screwed. He, he's not gonna drink it. He's not gonna drink it. He's afraid of monsters, and maybe he believed our lie. Hmm. Do I really want to pour this out, or do I want to turn into a big, scary monster? <laughs> Marvin, do you think Jeffy poured out that monster? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Jeffy, did you drink that monster? Does your rocking horse have a wooden pecker? Of course I did. You told me it was going to turn me into a monster, but now I feel like I'm the Flash. Jeffy, oh my God, he's going to be up forever now. Uh, Marvin, is Jeffy asleep? Let me check. He, 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 he fell asleep. He finally passed out. Oh, thank God. Okay, if we stay really quiet, then he won't wake up and we can go to sleep. Okay, Marvin. I'm awake! Oh! Marvin, quick, go answer the door before they ring the doorbell again! Okay. Hello? Hello, sir! I'm a traveling bell shop, but I was wondering if you wanted to buy any bells. Oh, shh, please be quiet. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to be quiet. Uh, your bells are really loud. Oh, yeah, they're the loudest in town. Let me show you what I got in stock. What the no, no. Check shh. this out. Not really a bell, but it's really loud. It's a wind chime. What? Can, can you please put that down? Sure. And then, if you need anything industrial size, we have this great tambourine. What? Please be quiet. Please. It's so loud it broke my glasses. What? And we have a maid bell. Okay, okay, that's really cool. Can you, can you just stop, please? And then, if you ever have a fantasy about being a hotel maid, check this out. Can you please stop it? So you're not gonna buy anything? No! Wow! Wasting my time! Unbelievable! To make a living, you know. Give me my glasses back. Oh my god. What the hell was that, Marvin? It was a bell salesman. What does that even mean? I don't know. Did Jeffy wake up? Almost. We have to keep it down. Well, nothing else is gonna make noise tonight. We're gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, go fix it. Go stop it. Okay. All right, guys. Lizard Guts is back. Heck yeah, it is. Best believe it, dude. All right, let's rock. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Man. My son is trying to sleep in the other room. Yeah, well, rock and roll never sleeps. Listen, if you don't stop playing that music, I I'm gonna do something bad. What are you gonna do about it, old man? <laughs> what? Hey, what? Okay, hey, get in the back. <laughs> Bro, that's my guitar. That's what you get for making noise. Well, I'll admit, that was pretty punk rock, but I'm still gonna tell my dad. <laughs> Marvin, what was all that noise? It was a kid playing the guitar. Tonight of all nights. Well, don't worry, I stopped it. Well, how did you get them to stop? I took the guitar outside and I smashed it. Marvin! Well, it was the only way to get them to stop. They were too cool to stop playing. At least Jeffy didn't wake up. Let's try to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Who could that be? Hello? Hey, son, is this him? Yeah, Dad, that's the guy that smashed my guitar. Oh, so you don't want to like to smash little black boy's guitar or something? Shh, keep it down. It ain't no keep it down! The 
world needs to know about your racism. You like to smash little gay black boys' guitars because you're stuck in your ways. You want to hear your shoebox music. No, he's white. No, I ain't no, I ain't no he's white. Look, little Nas X is black and a gay rock star. Why can't my son be a black gay rock star? Yeah, you tell him, Dad. Well, listen, I promise you it has nothing to do with the color of his skin. Can you just keep it down and just be quiet? Look, I smashed his guitar because it was loud. What? <laughs> You, are you gonna be, get mad at planes because they, they loud too? Or, or crowds because they chill and they loud? No, no, I, I, look, what can I do to get you to leave? I need to be compensated for that guitar right now! Well, how much was the guitar? Well, we got it at a thrift store, so it was $40, but we got a 50% discount because I did a favor for the manager. I call it the mouth discount. Yeah, she know how to use her mouth to get that discount. <laughs> oh, all I have is 100 Give me up! Let's go, baby! I ain't got no cash! Oh. Who could that have possibly have been, Morvin? It was the parents of the kid's guitar I smashed. Why'd you have to smash the guitar? Listen, that's all dealt with. Listen, no more people are going to be ringing the doorbell, and no more people are going to be playing instruments. Let's just finally sleep since Jeffy's sleeping. Okay. Is that a lawnmower? No one mows their lawn this late at night, Marvin. Not those damn hucker dudes. Hey! Howdy, neighbor! What are you doing? Cutting my grass. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, just because it's dark outside doesn't mean the grass stops growing. Listen, my son's sleeping. I don't want you to wake him up. Can you do this like in the morning? No can doodly do, neighbor. See, I gotta cut my grass every eight hours if I want to win next year's Lawn of the Year trophy. So you're not gonna stop? Nope. Hold on. What are you doing with that bat? Going bat in practice? <sighs> I got him to stop. Thank God. Maybe we can finally get some sleep. <laughs> Marvin, silence your phone! Hello? Hey, Marvin. What do you want? I'm just doing my pilot job, flying a plane. You know, those red-eye flights. It's actually pretty boring up here. That's why I called, so I don't fall asleep. Well, listen, right now is not a good time to talk. Oh, hey, I'm actually coming up in your neighborhood right now. You want me to fly as low as I can, see if I can buzz your house? Do not do that. Buzz my house! No, 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 no. Did you see me? No, I didn't see you. Oh, hold on. Let me circle back and try again. Do not try it again. Buzz my house! No, 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 no. Did you see me that time? No, I didn't see you that time. How did you not see me, Marvin? I'm in a giant plane. It's a 747. I can't believe you didn't see me. I wasn't outside. Oh, well, you want me to try again? No, I'm trying to sleep. Well, actually, I have to, because now I'm going the wrong way. So go outside. Go, 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 go. Did, did you see me that time? Yes, I saw you. Yay. Oh, damn it. See, now I don't have enough fuel to get to where I'm going, so I got to go back to the airport. So go outside. Go, 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 go. What the hell was that? Oh, sorry. I, I kind of scraped your roof there. There's definitely some roof damage. I, I probably should have flown higher. Sorry about that. Hey, I can fix it, though. I do roofs. Well, don't fix it. Just stop calling me and leave me alone. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy did not wake up during all that. Oh, oh my God, the fire alarm. Jeffy, why is there a fire? Marvin, today's my birthday, and I wanted to make a huge candle and blow it out. So I'm making hot Cheetos. Well, blow it out. Well, sing happy birthday for me. What? Happy birthday? Uh, happy birthday to you. Sing it louder. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. No, sing the real version. That is the real version. No, no, it's not. Sing the real version. What are you talking about? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Because today is your birthday. Because today is your birthday! Blow it out! I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go turn off the fire detector. Why was the fire alarm going off? It's Chef Pee Pee's birthday. So? Listen, he was trying to make a candle. Look, look, as long as Jeffy is still sleeping, we're good. Let's try to go to bed. Who's on the roof? I have no idea. Careful! Who could be on the roof? Hey, Marvin! Shh! Don't shush me. Stupid. I thought you were supposed to be flying a plane. Oh, no. They canceled the flight because there was some structural damage to the bottom of the plane from where I hit your roof. Uh, speaking of which, I'm really sorry about that. I tried to fix it the best I could because I felt so bad, so I just kind of patched it with some scotch tape and wood. I really hope your insurance covers that. Can you just be quiet? My son's trying to sleep. Oh, hey. <laughs> Man, he's a heavy sleeper. Can, can you just go? Oh, yeah. But how cool was that plane, though, right? It looked cool when it flew over, right? Oh, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. i never seen a plane fly that low. Yeah, you saw it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. So what airline was I flying for? Like, what color was the plane? Oh, uh, uh, silver? No. It was bright yellow because I was flying Spirit Airlines. What other airline do you think would let me fly that dangerously? Well, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't go outside. My son was sleeping. I didn't want to wake him up. What other friend do you have that would endanger the life of 200 passengers just to say hi? You're never going to get that kind of friendship anywhere else. <laughs> I can't believe Jeffy's still sleeping through all that. Okay, let's go to bed. Marvin, did you just turn on the TV? What, did you sit on the remote? No!
Breaking news, okay? A plane had to make an emergency landing after scraping the top of a house. In other breaking news, okay, a high-speed police chase ended in front of a house and the armed suspect has entered the home through a hole in the roof and police have the place surrounded now. Marvin, you don't think that's our house, do you? No, just look for the remote. The TV's really loud. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Turn off the TV. Okay. Okay, let's go to sleep. Nobody move! Oh my god! Freeze, you bastard! Drop the knife! Drop the gun or I'll kill him! Can you guys be quiet? Let him go or I'll blow you away! Well, you might as well blow me away, because I'm not going back to jail! <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Yeah, shooting him's really for the best. It's, it's better than putting him back in prison and then feeding him for several years on taxpayer money until eventually we just let him go on good behavior and he maybe eat somebody. Can you just please be quiet? Man, I'm feeling really pumped. I'm going to fire a few victory shots into your ceiling. <laughs> Oh, that feels really good. Oh, wow, your son's still sleeping? Yeah, can you please just be quiet? Oh, sorry, I'll leave. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, nothing, Jeffy, just go back to sleep. Well, I'm not tired anymore, so I'm gonna take off my eyelids, and I'm gonna ride my horsey. No, Jeffy, go back to bed. Oh, my God. I will never get some sleep. Balloons with my helium tank? Where'd you get a helium tank, Jeffy? We got him one, Marvin, so he could blow up his own balloons and save money. I don't remember doing that. So is that a yes or? Sure, Jeffy. All right, good. Can you pop down on there? We really bought him that? Yeah, Marvin. All right, Jeffy, that's enough air. Not enough air. Jeffy, it's going to pop. It's not going to pop. Jeffy, yes, it is. Stop it. I know not. It's going to pop, Jeffy. It's not going to pop. I told you. Why did it pop? Because you put too much air in it. I didn't put air in it. I put helium in it. What? You know what I'm talking about, Jeff. You put too much helium in it. All right, well, I'm just going to blow up another balloon. Wait, I'm out of balloons! Yeah, Jeffy, so look, it looks like you're done playing with your stupid balloon. Can you go to the store and buy me more balloons? No! Well, then I'm just gonna search this house top to bottom for more balloons. I think we have some in the kitchen, Jeffy. Great. Why'd you tell him where the balloons are? I'm sorry. All right, Danny, I found a box of balloons. I'm gonna start blowing them up now. All right, don't put a lot of helium in it this time. Okay, Danny. Marvin, do you think Jeffy would make me a pink balloon? Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, I want a balloon, too. Hey, Jeffy, can you make me a balloon? Here you go, Danny. Here's the first balloon. Well, Jeffy, what is that? It's a balloon. Well, where'd you get it at? Underneath your bed. Let go of it. Why? It's a gross balloon, Jeffy. Gross balloon? Yeah, you, you, you don't you don't use those. Well, I have no more balloons left. Well, Jeffy, why don't you try sucking the helium? Suck the helium? How much is it going to pay me? What? Well, usually when you suck something, they pay you. No, 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 Jeffy, no, no. She's talking about suck the helium. I know. No, look, it makes your voice all funny. Watch. Hey, Jeffy, look, it's me, Marvin. Ha 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 ha! Why'd it do that? Well, that's just what helium does, Jeffy. Look, you try it. Okay. Hey, Danny! What? Doing? Ha 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 ha! Why'd it do that? Well, that's just what helium does, Jeffy. Look, keep going, keep going. Hey, I'm Elmo! Tickle my balls! Ha 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 ha! Why'd it do that? Well, look, Jeffy, how about you take the helium tank in your room and keep playing with it? Okay, Danny! Okay, finally got him out of here. All right, guys, you ready to play Pac-Man? Oh yeah, dude! Yeah, Junior, you know I love gobbling balls. <laughs> Yummy. God, I hate you. What? Hey, guys, check out! Fuck! All right, now we got that together. Well, that's cool. What is six helium tanks? Jeffy, where'd you get it? My daddy bought it for me. Dope! Dope, 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 dope. Yeah, let me show you what it does. Hey, guys, I'm Elmo, and I got the tickle shit. <laughs> Why does it do that? I don't know. That's just what it does. Well, Cody, you should try it. Okay. Hey, I'm Cody. <laughs> I sound like Alvin or one of the chipmunks, especially from the Squeakle. Uh, not Chipwrecked, though. I haven't seen that one. Or the Road Chip, because I can't watch that until I watch Chipwrecked. It probably sucks ass anyway. <laughs> Why does it do that? I don't know, Joseph. You should try it. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. What do I sound like, guys? Oh my god, I sound like SpongeBob! Chef Pee Pee! Make me a Krabby Patty! Yeah! <laughs> Why does it do that? 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 
That's so cool. Hey, Jeff, you know what you should do? You should try to suck the entire helium tank. What? All right, bet. Oh, guys, I don't think that's a good idea. That seems dangerous. Where does it say that's dangerous? Well, it probably says that somewhere on here. Well, it does say Los Niños Menores de Ocho Años Pueden. Well, oh yeah, it does say that. I don't know what that means, but it does say that. Do you think that's bad? Well, probably. Jeffy, suck the entire tank right now. All right, I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> Oh, I can tell you're still sucking helium, Jeffy. Yeah, Daddy, I'm sucking it like the girl on the straight corner that you told me about last Friday night. What? He doesn't know what he's talking about, baby. His brain's messed up from all the helium. It's just so funny because, like, why did you do that? I don't know, Jeffy. It's just what helium does. Marvin, why is his voice still so high-pitched? It should have worn off by now. Well, Jeffy, how much helium have you sucked? The whole tank. What? Well, Jeffy, that could kill you! Oh, well, no one told me that! Marvin, we need to call a doctor right now! Okay, I'm on it. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, so my son- Look at me when you're talking to me. Well, listen, I'm telling you- I said look at me when you're talking to me, goddammit! Look into my eyes! Now tell me, what is going on? What the hell is going on? Well, my son, when he talks, it's weird. Jeffy, talk. Hey, guys, it's me, Jeffy! <laughs> why does it do that? Well, we know why his voice sounds like that, because- well, it sounds to me like his balls haven't dropped. But he didn't sound like that yesterday. Well, maybe he got kicked in the nuts and it made his voice higher. Because sometimes when you get kicked in the nuts, it makes your voice higher. Well, no, we know what happened. Ask me how I know. What? Ask me how I know that when you get kicked in the nuts, sometimes it makes your voice get higher. But we know why his... Ask me how I know. How do you know? Well, when I was younger, I was the king at kicking people in the nuts. You don't have legs. Exactly. And this is the story of how I lost my legs. <gasps> don't worry, baby birds. I'll feed you. This is what happened. So back in high school, I was in PE class playing this game called Kickball. Now, I'd never really heard of Kickball, and I didn't understand the rules, but I thought I could probably figure it out. So they rolled this big red ball to me, and I thought that was some kind of obstacle. So I jumped over it, and then I ran up, and I kicked the guy in the mound right in the balls. And the ball crunch was so satisfying. He squealed like a little girl. And then after that, I was just addicted to kicking balls. I ran around all the bases kicking everybody in the balls. Everybody on the playground was just laying on the ground holding their balls. And I thought I was the kickball champion because everybody was calling me Ball Buster Brooklyn until the PE teacher ran up and told me to go to the principal's office for kicking people in the balls. So I kicked him in the balls and then I went to the principal's office and the principal told me that I was suspended for kicking people in the balls. So I kicked him in the balls too. And then they called the cops and as you can imagine I kicked them in the balls and they were not happy about that at all. So they sent me to jail, you know, they took my mug shot, I kicked the photographer in the balls, and then they sent me to my cell and I kicked my cellmate in the balls. So then they sent me to the electric chair and I kicked the executioner in the balls. And then after that they didn't know what to do. So they called my parents and my parents came and got me and my dad said I was grounded for kicking people in the balls and that that might teach me a lesson. So I kicked him in the balls. And then they sent me to a therapist to figure out why I was kicking people in the balls so much. And my therapist said it had something to do with unresolved feelings about my mother. So I kicked him in the balls. And then they sent me to a mental institution and they put me in a straitjacket. But my legs were still free, so I kept kicking people in the balls. And then they put me in straight pants so I couldn't kick anybody in the balls. And then my parents and the teachers and the doctors and the cops and Bill Clinton, who was president at the time, they all got together and were trying to figure out what to do about me because I was a serial ball kicker. And then they decided that they needed to amputate my legs because I just could not be trusted with legs anymore. So they amputated my legs, and I haven't kicked anyone in the balls ever since. But if I had my legs back, I'd kick you in the balls, I'd kick you in the balls, I'd somehow surgically give you balls and then kick you in the balls. No ball would go left unkicked. I don't know how you have legs and you're not just kicking balls all day. Because it's wrong? Well, you're a better man than me. Anyway, I think your son's voice is probably high-pitched because he got kicked in the balls. No, he did not get kicked in the balls. We know why his voice is high-pitched. Oh, well then why did you let me tell my very long story? Because you wouldn't let me talk. Oh, well then go ahead and talk. All right, Jeffy's voice is high-pitched because he sucked helium. Oh, I've sucked helium before. Yep, I owed him money. Couldn't pay him back any other way, yeah. Helium Martinez. Owed him 50 bucks, couldn't pay him back, so we had to take him out back and then we... Oh, you mean helium the gas. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's what I meant, too. Yeah, helium the gas. Yeah, that's that's what I sucked. I, I sucked the gas. Yeah. I actually have a whole story about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my Grandpa Joe were at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, and we stole fizzy lifting drinks, right? And then we started floating up toward the ceiling, but then there was a big fan up there. So then we realized if we burp, it makes us go lower. So... Uh, oh wait, that, that didn't happen to me. That happened to Charlie Bucket in the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm just gonna stop talking now. Yeah, so Jeffy's voice is high pitched, it's just stuck that way. Jeffy talk. Yo, my name is Nico Bullock. Hmm, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, have you tried burping at work for Charlie Bucket? Jeffy, try to burp. 
Huh, huh. Well, see, the thing is, he sucked an entire tank of helium. Oh my god, that's dangerous! He could have died! Well, is he going to? No, I mean, if he was gonna die, he probably would have done it already. Huh. Oh, oh, I have an idea. H how about this? H have you tried sucking on that gas that makes your voice deeper? There's a, there's a gas that makes your voice deeper? Yeah, 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 it's uh, sodium hexafluoride, I think. Yeah, yeah, you suck it and it makes your voice deeper. It's like the opposite of helium. Well, well, grab it, we'll give it to Jeffy, his voice will go back to normal. I mean, that shit ain't cheap, Jack. It's like 400 bucks a liter. What? It is? Yeah, and I have a liter at my house, but it's gonna cost you. Well, um, all I have is $100. Hmm, okay. Well, you know what? For you, buddy, I'll take a 75% loss. But, you know, you can't be too careful. All right, it checks out. I'm gonna go get that. All right, I got it. And it's actually sulfur hexafluoride, not sodium hexafluoride. Duh. It's me being stupid. How can I mix that up? So if Jeffy inhales this, his voice will go deep. Yeah, it should. Okay, you ready, Jeffy? Yeah. Go! <laughs> <laughs> it smells like shit! Wait, it does? Oh god! Oh, what is that? Wait, wait. Oh, oh god. That's terrible. That's the worst thing I've ever smelled. What is that? Is that? That is not what it's. Oh man, it's my Gamer Girl fart jar! What?! Yeah, I bought a jar of Gamer Girl farts for like a thousand bucks off OnlyFans. But why would you do that?! I don't know, I thought I might be into it. She said that she only ate deviled eggs and cream cheese for a whole week, and she had C. diff, so, I don't know. That's, that's disgusting! I just thought I might be into it, but I'm not. Well, I'm kinda into it. Yeah. What?! Well, so you don't have the fluoride, the hexa stuff?! No, I do! I just got the jars mixed up. Hold on, I'll get it. Okay, this is the jar of sulfur hexafluoride. Are you sure that's what this is? Yes, it says it right there, and it looks just like the other jar. Wait, where is the other jar? I threw it off the couch. Oh, man, I need that. I paid good money for this. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like this. I think I'm gonna live in here like sandy cheeks. What? That's disgusting! Hey, this this is a new low for me. All right, so if Jeffy breathes this in, his voice will be, like, normal. Yeah, I think so. All right, all right, Jeffy, breathe this. <laughs> His voice is really deep! It's not normal! Oh, uh, hey, 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 how about this? Uh, say, Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. Hmm, huh, it's not the same. Well, how are we gonna fix his voice? It's deep now! Oh, I have an idea. Uh, all we need to do is just get a little bit of helium. Well, I already sucked all the helium out of the tank. Oh, well, that's not good. Wait, what about that up there? Look at that balloon! Wait, that's not a balloon, that's a- Ew! What says the guy with the gamer girl fart jar on his head. Touche. All right, Jeffy, look, that balloon up there, it's really gross, but we're gonna bring it down here and you're gonna suck a little bit of helium out of it, okay? All right, man. How am I gonna get there? <laughs> All right, Jeffy, here's the balloon. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna suck the helium out until your voice goes back to normal, okay? All right, man. How is this? Uh, no, suck a little bit more. That's what I said. What about now, Daddy? That's perfect, Jeffy, your voice is back to normal. Yeah! Yeah, today was a big success. I'm gonna go buy more of these jars. Don't judge me! Well, Jeffy, don't suck helium ever again. Okay. Hey, Danny, where's the cup I'm supposed to pee in? Because I already found the one I'm supposed to poop in. You're not supposed to poop in a cup, Jeffy! Too late. It was running. Ew, Jeffy, that's disgusting! Why would you do that? Because he's labeled poop! That's just a picture, Jeffy! <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go answer the door. Uh, pour that out! Hello? Marvin, you have to let me inside. I have to show you what I bought. Okay. <laughs> All right, Marvin, bam! Adebayo is also on this team, but he's not as good as Jimmy Butler. You bought a Jimmy Butler jersey? Oh, not just any Jimmy Butler jersey. See, in his last game, Jimmy Butler scored 56 points, which is the most points that any Miami Heat player's ever scored in the playoffs. And he did it while wearing this jersey, and he signed it. Oh, it smells like Jimmy. Take a whiff, take a whiff of Jimmy. Ew, it smells like sweaty man! Yeah, he is a man. More of a man than I'll ever be. He could have my wife. How much did you pay for this jersey? Oh, you know, $250,000. $250,000?! Yeah, it's my entire life savings. But look, it's worth it because I got this stinky shirt! I don't think I would ever pay that amount of money for a shirt. Oh yeah? Well, would you buy a shirt that Jesus wore? I guess. Yeah, exactly, and that's him. That's Jimmy Jesus Christ Butler, because he had to walk on water to get that 56 points, because we beat the Milwaukee Sucks. Uh, I mean, Bucks. Hey, I like that team. Yeah, well, you must like sucking Jimmy, because we're up 3-1 on your bitch ass, and it's about to be 4-1 tonight. No, uh Okay, yeah, okay, whatever. Well, thank you for showing us this jersey. Hey, hey, hey you want to see my favorite plays of that game? Not really. Look, I'll show you. I got him on my phone right here. Look, watch him get this three to, to take the lead. Here comes Jimmy, wide open for the lead. Oh, Jimmy! Yeah, Jimmy!
Mikey. Whoa, Jimmy! Go eat! Can you say clutch? Clutch Daddy? That's Hemi Butler right there. I mean, that was really cool. Oh, that's nothing. You should see this next play. Watch. Oh, here comes Jimmy Butler. He's filthy. This man doesn't wipe all three. Jimmy! Have my baby, Jimmy. Marry me. <laughs> Marvin, was that not the nastiest thing you've ever seen? Jimmy didn't have to do that to them. That was not consensual what you just watched. The Bucks get me tooed. Or should I say me too tooed for Jimmy? Well, wasn't that a two-pointer, not a three? Okay, yeah, he stepped on the line and it was worth two, but it doesn't matter because he still won. That's why the jersey was worth so much. You could have at least got him to wash it. It smells so bad. No, it's full of Jimmy juice. I actually wrung it out into a cup and drank it, hoping I would absorb his power, but it didn't work. All it did was make me very sick. Speaking of sick, I have to pee, and I think I have a UTI. Can I use your bathroom? Well, we don't have a pee cup. Oh, usually I pee into a Mountain Dew bottle while I'm sitting on the couch, so I don't have to get up while I'm watching Jimmy. That's probably why I have a UTI. Anyway, I'm gonna go pee all over your toilet seat. Danny, what am I supposed to do with this cup of diarrhea? I said pour it out, Jeffy. Put the not on the jersey, Jeffy! You told me to pour it out! I said in the sink! Oh, okay. Oh my god, he poured diarrhea all over the Jimmy Butler jersey! Yeah! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? We gotta clean it! Oh, get some bleach or, or some wipes or some napkins or I don't know what to do! Somebody's in here. And it's gonna be a while, too, because I'm taking a Milwaukee Bucks in the toilet. Because I'm shitting. Hard. Yeah, I thought I had to pee, but then my bowels have a surprise for me. Okay. Here, Marvin, I got some paper towels. What? Paper towels is not good enough, baby. We need bleach. Marvin, we can't use bleach on our nice red couch. We have to get the stain out of the Jimmy Butler journey. Marvin, I have an idea. Let's take it to the sink downstairs and use Dawn dish soap. It gets oil off of duckies. What? Come on, just trust me, Marvin. Hey, Dad, someone's in the bathroom and I can't pour this down the sink. Well, then go pour it in the bathtub. I don't know. Okay. See, Marvin, look, the duckies. I don't know what that means. Just trust me, Marvin. <laughs> You're getting it all blue! Just hold on, Marvin! See, look, it's helping! It still just looks blue and soapy! Marvin, trust me! Go get the stain remover! Uh, okay. Okay, I got the stain remover. Marvin, look, the stain's almost gone! It actually worked! That's the power of Dawn Dish Soap! Are you sponsored by them? Not sponsored. I just love animals. Okay, so what do we do now? Marvin, go turn on some extra light to make sure we get all the stain out. Okay, where's the light? Uh. Marvin, stop! Oh my god! How's the jersey? Marvin, it's stuck! Oh, pull it, pull it! Okay! What? Uh, Marvin! What? Look, it's all cut up in the corner! Oh my god, the garbage disposal did that! Why didn't you turn on the garbage disposal, Marvin? I didn't know that's what the switch did! How long have you lived here? I don't do the dishes, Chef PB does! Well, Marvin, what do I do? Okay, uh, why don't you grab some scissors and we can cut the bottom of the jersey off? He doesn't know how long the jersey was. Ooh, that's a good idea, Marvin! But the jersey's still soaking wet. We have to dry it off. We can put it in the dryer. No, we can't have the jersey shrink. We have to dry it off another way. Ooh, we could get the iron. <gasps> yeah, go grab the iron. Okay. Oh my god, those cuts are so bad. Rub a dub dub, hunky boy in the tub. Oh no, what if I drown? Good thing I have a hunky lifeguard watching me. Oh no, I'm drowning. Somebody needs to give me ass to mouth. Ooh. Hey, Cody. Oh, hey, Jeffy, what are you doing here? I'm gonna dump diarrhea in your bath. What? What? Ew! Ew, that's gross! I can't, let's get out of here. Come on. All right, Marvin, I have the iron. It's hot. Please be careful with it. I'll be careful with it, Marvin. Hey, Danny, I poured the diarrhea in the tub while someone was taking a bath. Why would you do that, Jeffy? That's disgusting. But that's what you told me to do. No, I said pour it in the tub, not while somebody was in it. Well, they don't teach you that in school. Jeffy, go stand in the corner. For how long? Six minutes. That's like forever. What if I starve? Okay, five minutes. Okay, but if I die, I'm going to call Child Protective Services on your ass. You're 18 years old, Jeffy. You can't call Child protective services. Well, in that case, I'm not gonna stand in the corner. Go stand that ass in the corner. The will to. Make it four minutes, I'll think about it. Okay, four minutes, just go. What about three and a half? Oh, Jeffy, I don't care how long you stay in the corner, I just want you to learn your lesson. What about two minutes? Go stand in the corner. All right, I'll do it for one minute and see how I feel. Oh my God, what is wrong with him? Why does he act like this? All right, I'm back. What? Jeffy, that was only like five seconds. I got scared. Of what? Earthquakes. We don't have earthquakes in Florida, Jeffy. Well, I thought I heard one. What? Oh, Jeff, go to your room. And play video games? Will that make you learn your lesson? Maybe. Just go to your room. Oh my god, why is Jeffy like this? It's his fault we're even in this situation. If he wouldn't have poured his diarrhea all over the jersey, we wouldn't be doing this. Is it dry? Oh my god, I forgot! What? what? Take it off! Oh, okay! Oh my god! Marvin, I'm so sorry! You bitch! 
at you, you burn the signature off! Jeff, he distracted me with his chick chat! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? I don't know! I mean, it's dry now, but oh my god, take it upstairs! Okay. Take it upstairs right now! Okay! You move! Okay! Okay, baby, what are we gonna do? The signature is burned off, the bottom of it's cut, the top of it's still stained, I don't know what to do. Well, Marvin, hear me out, look. If we flip it over, right, it looks okay on the front, and we could fake the signature and sign right here on the two, still cut the bottom part off, and hope he doesn't flip it over. Wait, I mean, yeah, 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 we could just say that it was always signed on the front the whole time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, 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 you grab the scissors. Okay. And you start cutting, and I'll grab a Sharpie. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, baby, I got the Sharpie. Okay, I cut the bottom part off. Uh Oh, yeah, that, that looks real good. Thank you. So I'm going to sign the two. I forgot how the signature looked. Just write Jimmy Butler. Okay, um, I'll try. Okay, baby, I just signed it. Marvin, you didn't even write in cursive. I don't know how to sign Jimmy Butler's name in cursive. I only know how to sign my name in cursive. You didn't capitalize the J? Look, I did the best I could. It's still signed by him, right? Yeah, I guess it's okay. Oh, no, baby. The jersey, it smells like darn dish soap. It smells like sweaty man. Oh, no. Marvin, what do we do now? Jeffy, get in here! Yes, Daddy? Jeffy, when's the last time you washed your balls? Strong two weeks, Daddy. Do they smell bad? Well, let me check. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're bad, Daddy. They're ripe. Okay, can you please rub this jersey all over your balls? Sure, Daddy. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, get up in there. Uh -huh. There you go, Daddy. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, God. Oh, that's disgusting, Jeffy. Oh, my God. Okay, I think the jersey's perfect. Uh -huh. Ooh, go, Jimmy. Go, Jimmy. Go. Ooh, Jimmy Butler. Okay, there we go. I think I'm done watching highlights. Should I wipe? No, because Jimmy doesn't wipe because he's nasty, and I want to be nasty just like Jimmy. I'm going to have dirty cheeks just like Jimmy. Should I flush? No, because that's how nasty I am. If Jimmy's going to be nasty, I'm going to be nasty too. Hey, everybody, I'm back from the bathroom. Did you have a good time? Was the toilet nice? Was the lights bright enough for you in there? Wow, I didn't know you guys were so interested. Uh, yeah, I mean, I shit a lot, but I didn't wipe because Jimmy doesn't wipe. What a good boy. Good pooper. Good job. Wow, I, I'm getting weirdly turned on by this. I, I think I have an appreciation kink because it doesn't happen very often. God, I need to go to therapy. Oh my God, Jimmy signed the front too? That's so cool because he signed the back in cursive. And it makes sense that he would do it twice because Jimmy does everything twice. That's why his number's 22. It's two twice. Yeah, he even shoots threes twice. That was a two. Yeah, but that makes sense because it's like two twice, you know, and two, two is twice the points of one. Yeah, so you know what I think you should do? I think you should walk home and only look at the front of your jersey. But I want to stay here and watch the Heat game with you guys. Oh, that could, that could only happen if we had cable, which we don't. What are you talking about? You guys watch TV all the time. Well, we lost our TV remote, so we canceled the cable because we thought we'd never watch TV again. The remote's right here. Oh, well, we still don't have cable. Look, it's working. You guys have cable. Uh, oh, damn it. But why damn it? Aren't you happy you have cable? I'm just mad at the whole situation. Okay, well, I want to see the back of my jersey. No, 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 no. We've been looking at the back of it all day. Why don't we only look at the front of it? I mean, the front's so cool. It, it says heat. Yeah, it, it does say heat. And hey, I mean, I have heat on mine too, but th this is the away jersey. Th this is the home jersey. Oh, thank you for telling us that. You know what? I, I really like it. I do really want to see the back of it. No, 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 no. Don't look at the back because you don't want to jinx Jimmy Butler before the game. It's a jinx to look at the, the name of your favorite player before a game. But it is? Yeah, it's just like seeing your wife on, on your wedding day. It's bad luck. Wow, that explains why all of my marriages have failed. It's because I saw my wife on my wedding day. Marvin, that's before the wedding. Uh, but before the wedding. If I ever get married again, I'm not showing up to the wedding at all. I'm not even going to look at her. Oh, okay. Well, look, I, I think you should just take your jersey home. You know what? I really do want to see the back because it, it doesn't matter if it's a jinx. Jimmy Jimmy doesn't need the luck, okay? Uh, hey, 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 it's bad luck. It's bad. Uh, uh, Jimmy, what the fuck happened to my jersey? Oh, oh listen, 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 listen. I want you to look at it. I want you to look at it. If you, if you look at it really closely, uh -huh. right? Look at it really closely. See, it, it might look burnt, right? It looks burnt, yeah. Okay, that's because it is. But... But if, if, you don't, if you remember, Jimmy was on fire during that game. Well, yeah, of course he was on fire. He's Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, he was shooting threes. And the, the, they're called the Miami Heat because what they do is they add this flame retardant the material to the jersey. So when a player plays really well, they can light the player on fire. And you can only see it in person. And so after the game, he was so hot during that game that once he handed you the jersey, it, it started burning up because it was exposed to sunlight. 
Huh. I mean, everything you're saying makes sense. And it makes sense to be on the back, too, because he does carry the team on his back. Yeah, yeah, he played so good that day. He carried the whole team on his back. And that's why the back of the jersey's burnt. And that's why he signed the front of the jersey, too, because he knew the back of the jersey was going to burn up. And, and, and that's that, that's why that happened. Yeah, oh, Jimmy, you're so smart. But still, though, I, I don't remember the jersey being this short. Oh, well, the bottoms of the jersey, they, they, they burn off, too, because he gets so hot down there from running around his genitals. Oh, yeah, that's true. Jimmy does have a hot dick. I, I I've said that about him. It really heats up when he plays. Okay, I'm just really glad my jersey's okay. Yeah, your jersey's fine. It's exactly how it was. It's what, what's happened. It happened. Okay, good. Let's watch the Heat game. Bucks are gonna win. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well no, they're not. Okay, so, so shut up. Hey, hey, Marvin. I, I think it should be a boys only watch party, huh? How about you go watch the WNBA? Oh wait, I forgot. Nobody watches that. <gasps> I'm glad we burnt and cut up your jersey. What?